God, I've got to fix myself. Wow, I'm not warming up. I've just tied it back so it's brushed, but you know, I'm surprisingly clean that stuff and it must really work well. So, today's the last proper, you know, full on Edinburgh vlog. Don't know if there'll be one tomorrow or not. Though no, I have got a bit of my, of my mental going here with it, or maybe come with this, whatever word you want to use. So, no, not doing one is not on my list of things to do. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing today. I have no clue, honestly. So, I guess we'll find out current time. I think I've like, misplaced my watch. That's boy, I can't find it. Do you know what? It's funny, I do remember taking it off at some point. Like, I actually never think about it. I do remember taking it off, so it's always just a case of uh, finding it. Well, wow. yeah, other people would now just woke up. But uh, yeah, by the way, I was trying to tell you the current time. Four minutes past ten. Uh, so I've been up for probably about half an hour now that I think about it. But yeah, so listen, guys, I'm gonna go put up the camera and be back with you once I find the watch. So far, I'm not having any real work in finding it, so I'm gonna have to have a different strategy. I think what I'll do is I'll have to probably you know, cut the camera and use the torch on the phone to find it. Because I suspect that's it. Than that, yeah. But, yeah. Also, if you want to for the stuff, I've got, actually got interest in one of the items. Yay. More than that, when I find the launch. I think the cunt that's been doing the deliveries on it has fucking done a takeoff ramp, fucking landed it, and busted its brain. Yeah, because it was very, it was like a bouncy castle, to be honest. No, did you not hear it though? I, can, I heard the funny noises, but the way it was going up and down as well. Mind you, it's meant to go up and down. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the better decision. What's the other two bikes you're looking at? Nah, that's just my spiel, my get out of jail clause. Ah, oh, basically. Save uh, upsetting, my man. Politely excuse yourself. <laughs> and politely bring the price down, or attempt to. Well, I wanted to see what he was going to say with the price. He wasn't budging with the fucking price, so. What do you do? Uh, but what was it? Did you negotiate doing that all beforehand? Nah, I just forgot because I can't. There was other bikes I was looking at and I just legitimately forgot what the price was. So I thought, right, let's fucking remind ourselves. Oh, right. So what is the price? I kept saying to him. Have you, have you still got... Like, right, so what's the price? <laughs> Ah, but you still got your motorbike, your uh, moped for years ago. Oh, Is that any good to you? Nah, I was looking at Neos. A Neos that had a full year's MOT, but it was doing in fucking Lancaster. Went for 435 quid. It was a 2002 model. I would have been able to take the bitch off of my and fucking just threw onto that. I take it yours just needing work? I think it would if I just gave it a bit of TLC. You know, I think that would be a good idea to save a bit of cash as well. So imagine, I'm gonna guess that you know the ins and outs of that bike. The minute you realise a lot of these memories are 9 to 13 years old. Yeah. That's an uncomfortable feeling. Whoa! The 
it's a 1.4. 1.2. Yeah. I'm just able to get the best out of the motor. Yeah, you know you know your way around them. Look at that. Look at that Oh, man. See what he's done there? Aye. He's went and wrote an ego check that his skulls couldn't cash. <laughs> Aye, see that. Watch me! Ah, oh, up! Ah, a tree! <laughs> the claws have just been. Let's just leave that there for a week or two. It just serve as a reminder to guns, yeah. Just scare people. Well, that's it. I mean, this road's fucking. Believe it or not, it's still fucking one of the last roads. It's a national fucking speed limit. No chance to speed them on this one. No. Do you think circumstances will change with Madison about as far as being skunked Do you think that would change before the next four years? I can change it like that there. But I'm refusing it. I'm about to get any of fucking money then. I really need to get. I meant in the sense that you wouldn't have to pay out as much. So I ever put that Ah, right, well, that's a crack. Apparently, if Madison comes to stay with me for, let's say I'm getting car at 70 quid a week, and Madison stays with me two nights a week, that means that I'll only get 50 quid a week now. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, I see the math's gone now. So for the two nights he's with me, I don't need to get out of the money. Which is a fucking pile of shit. It's just. The government's yeah. way of legalising extortion on the fucking misery of fucking men and, and paying women to fucking death. Right. We went right from basically the first update and hello to basically hey we're in a car with my friend so I don't know what's tripping over dog bowl. let's go into the damn room where it's safe Let's face it, this vlog technically still in its infancy and it'll be a bit a lot better than yesterday. Since it's the last full day here, we might as well go over the top and that's a fit. Right, I'm gonna place you guys somewhere where I can uh, kind of you know, use this bottle to press the phone up against while I do some explaining. Right, shut the door now just to keep the extra noises out so it's not be heard. So Let's wrap. I'm joking. I'm just gonna make a chocolate wrap about fucking there. Uh, yeah, we're definitely off to a good start. So let me do some explaining. So about not too long after I started the vlog, right? Or you know, since I did the last update, Frank uh, texted me here. I want to go see a school, right? He doesn't like to scrap his car, so he's trying to see you know, thinking motorbikes the next step, you know. And he knows his way around them as well. So we went all we went through here and I'm trying what part of Midlovian do you call this? Um I think one head in Midlovian all the way up to Western Hills to look at the book. Now there's these two guys selling it. Didn't they uh, speak too you know, but English wasn't they, you know, on par. And they were trying to sell us this bike, two thousand eighteen plate. And you know the hang with bikes in the UK is it's the free year. So basically for three years they're exempt from MOT. One is a car, a van, a truck. They don't have to get MOT'd every year, obviously, on the same day. Um, so I went there and, you know, basically I was on the car talking, um, like, has it got a V5? Has it got this, you know, V5 proof of ownership documents? So we went there and, you know, the bike looked all right and there's a couple other bikes that these guys had. And when we got there, it was basically, they wanted 850 quid for it. 2018 plate. So... Basically, the MOT was just coming up, and we, you could tell that it was making all sorts of funny noises. To try and match the noise, the under the city of bike, you can, you know, you store all your stuff. Uh, they had tried filming that with crap, basically, you know, kind of hide, hide for that fact. But, uh, aye. It was kind of dodgy, and then we were going up and down on the springs and stuff. I didn't get any of this on footage, as you've already noticed. Just moving my hair, I'm going to turn my hair back. And, you know, it was making all sorts of fun as a spring was shot, so, you know, they're just trying to get rid of it, because with an MOD, that's going to cost probably, you know, about 
when only Skev was saying that it could cost twice the value in the body bank. So, you know, not only would you be buying it once for the 850, you'd be buying it a second time almost in whatever work you may or may not need done, which, eh, it's no ideal, it's uh, far from ideal. So, yeah, we got in the car, jumped back, and, you know, he dropped me off here. So, basically, he says to me, in one of the houses we stayed in, the one in Belston, which I've actually shown in frequent videos, um, in the shed, so, uh, I'll take you back, alright, July 2013, eight years ago, uh, well, over eight years ago now, um, basically, he went and bought some mo moped parts, bike parts and all that, like an engine, right? Left it in the shed. Well, when that, well, basically, we got kicked out of that house, right? Be, uh, due to rent related issues, right? My mum was meant to pay the rent, spent it on other shit. Well, I know one's like, Whoosh. So we didn't have really had time to grab it, right? We kind of just moved out from the course of a day, and it was one of those things that was not as essential as, you know, things like couches and clays and, you know, all that kind of nonsense. So. Aye, that just, it, it, it wasn't the essential. So, yeah, well, someone accepted my friend request on Facebook. I'm getting notifications. Um, aye. So he says to me, here, because try and go up the back fence of the house, right? Because you used to be able, years ago, right? Pre, before 2016, right? You were able to walk up the back of the house. Because basically, you had the houses kind of in a line on the street. But if you go to the back garden and jump the fence, giant field, right? And then on the other side of the field is the trees. And what you used to be able to do is jump the fence to go into the field or go into the park or the woods or whatever. Now, that's a giant school. Now, he says to me, if you can get up to the back of the shed and peer in, and if you see, and if it's there, either knock on the door, because he told me who actually owns the house. It's rented in that same street, because I've discussed before. And he's went and said to me, yeah. Um, if it's there, knock on the door and tell them. And if you see it's there, need a call and go get the damn engine. So, you know, we're probably going to do one of those two. I'll take you guys with me because I'm going to actually move you guys so I can get a drink. But you guys were balanced on this. But, no, that's the uh, plan. Aye. So. I could go down there now. I'd have to cut through a school, but, you know, given the time, it's currently, you know, quarter to one. That would be a bad idea. That would be a complete and utter no-go. You know, hopping school fences or even going up right up to a school. And this time, and just, it's not, it's not good. Know that I'm not allowed near schools, but, you know, you don't have everybody in classes. The last thing you want to see me is walking about your grounds or anybody for that matter. So, you know... It's not that the school's closed during the day, right? So, although also at night it's all open, so basically you can walk through most of it. So I'm going to have to assess if the shed's there, and then we go from there. That's the plan. But, uh, aye. That's what we're going to do. But, aye, I plan to make this one one of the longer vlogs since, you know, last day here. But, uh, I'm not gonna record while I go to the toilet, by the way, I'm gonna cut the camera. Right, let's go, let's go. Josh has been the longest clip so far. Next clip will probably be in the shop, which is where I'm going. Uh, aye, sure, boys. Yeah, uh, cause that stuff's addictive. Uh, another good guy. Oh. Right, so I know, I know next time that's the one you want. It's nice. Right? And I've got that 
Typen der Abdingen passt da. Oh, ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. None of their what's that I like? Bun thumbs. What bun thumbs? What the What you have to have a bun. What? The iced bun. That wasn't a them, but they're gone cheap. What ones do you think would be better? Anyone, I'm, I don't mind. What's that for? 80? That That's just a cake. Oh, this one reduced. Just get this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I still, still wouldn't pay. Yeah. Still, I wouldn't. Rip off. How many drugs can I have? I thought that. Whatever one you like, I don't mind. Do you want to try that one? Okay. I think it was... Thanks, where you get the big... Yeah. We need to get. Do you want me to go get the coke or you get the bacon? Would you like me to go get coke while you get the bacon? Ah, oh, we'll go. We'll go this way and round, eh? Yeah, probably a better idea. Yeah. <laughs> You shouldn't have to. You're disabled. You don't work. You live on a pension. Are these going cheap? No, nah, they're not going cheap. I've seen if they were going cheap or if they had promotion. The yeah, next one over. Right, which one would you like me to pick up? Ah, you do want to grab that because it will fall apart. It will spill everywhere if we grab it. I know that I can think of. I think so. I mean... So, here's another one of these talking updates since apparently a vlog requires talking and junk's up. All the shopping been all in the car. Yeah, just chilling, just waiting. We'll come back and we're gonna get this going. But yeah. So, it's still quite relatively early in the day. It's just like, I got out of the house quite early as well, so it's only quarter to two. So, it's, you know, you know, by this point, I don't know, I think maybe I got up early because I got out of the house early. I really don't know slash understand. So, you know, there's that. 
But yeah, I'm gonna record till they come back. Mmm, Sweden. Ooh, layers. So, on what was meant to be a surprising vlog, I have missed out. I've missed updates rather than me, so one thing I should say is so we went out shopping in the last update was me sitting in the car. We also went to the post office to try and sort out a tax like thing, not like a government tax, like your road tax for your car and we've had issues with that but we finally got that story having to get a four oh four form from the D V L A. Um We also went to the scrappy to try and see if they'd take one of the car parts from the cell and uh, they don't really see the scrappies are made into natural, you know body work or engine parts and mechanics of your car but they're not really interested in you know the interior panels oh to be fair that scrappy was like it's one of the messier ones I've been like tires everywhere like it's not like the one they stacked in them but besides that I need to fix myself um but yeah um that's about it came home sat on the phone I was on hold for about four or five minutes to sort out this uh road tax thing so that was uh that was absolute fun. So one thing I hate about driving in cars and junk is probably the road tax, the insurance, and motor basically all the shit you have to have I hate. Although I think uh, most motorists would be happy if they abolished all that crap. But uh yeah, so it's currently what, half past no. Why do I think half past it's ten past five? Wow. I am not on ball as far as time goes today, so what's happening? I'm going to go on down to Balfton again, I'll wait out on about kind of seven-ish to, uh, to see if a shed is there, and if not, to phone up my pal Ken, it's going to speak to our landlord, it's, I'll be filming, I'm going to try and save most of my filming for that. So, listen guys, um, this has been a quick update, I'm going to go start to think about dinner, see you soon. Current time is like what? It's half past seven, so I'm walking up to that part of Balfton to go see God. Why does my brain not work? Uh, see if that shed's still there. I'm not going to go right up to the house. See, like I said, before 2016, you could go up to it, but not anymore because it exists. So, yeah. So, if it's there, I'm going to basically just text. Okay, if see. See, um, oh, here, yeah, listen, the shed's there. And I think then we negotiate with the landlord. See you Okay, so what I have to do is, because that. School never used to be this, so people will run right up to the house. Or always like the small kind of, you know, mesh gate, sorry, mesh fence that you feel jump over. Oh, some metal and some mesh. <laughs> Screw it. The fence is still there, I'll point it out, but. Ah, oh, shit, school's still on, so I might you know. We won't get close enough to tell. Basically, I had to stand somewhere around there. Be able to see over that way, it's fucking awkward. So I had to go through the woods to. You know, get the best view of the situation. If it's here, I'm just gonna have to call Ken to go speak to the landlord. Cause even if I could get it up, I'm not sure if I would really want to go right up to the house. <laughs> Welcome to the woods. For those of you who don't know, I used to hang out with your smoke all that frequently. See you guys over at the house. Don't know, I'll see you guys once I determine if shed is in. So, it's there and it exists. After uh, eight years, it's... Well, just got to home with Kent, we think it's uh, still there. That's actually quite good. Shed is still there, which is amazing. Um, but uh, yeah. So he's not coming down tonight. We've changed the plan. He's going to come down tonight for the week, but I'm going to have to follow it when I get back. But uh, I'm going to just go home just now. Established that there is 
the shed. So I'm going to actually put the bait engine or bait components are still in the shed. Which may seem like wishful thinking, but who the hell knows? So, yeah. Kind of crazy. But no, it's weird because the walk home. Who knows, I might even come through here again later. But you know, I don't want to be phone when I get back, so. Obviously, I'm going to take the time to do so, because, well, why would my yeah, I dropped things. Current time, two minutes past eight. So this day has went a lot longer than I thought it was. Again, I think that's because I got out there and started to do things a lot more than I expected. All these new builds out here are horrible. Can't stand them. But uh, yeah, just gonna start the walk home. See you when I get there. I probably look like shit, so I didn't update when I actually said that I would do it. I was meant to speak to you guys um, when I got back, so I kind of left. Built in about eight. Now I want to say I got home for around eight. Ah, damn, I'm trying to figure out the times here. No. I think I got home about eight, ten past eight, between half, ten past eight and half eight, right? And then, on this one, I'm going to sit you guys down here while I talk this part. It was a good angle yesterday, but yeah, so, I did that. It is 11 o'clock, by the way. Um, yeah. And I came home, I didn't have you guys, I was told, you know, the friend says, here, call me when you get home, so. When I done that, I think it had 10, 15 minutes, yeah, at the most. Um, but, uh, aye, aye. So what I ended up doing was I ended up sitting on the phone to probably about, uh, what, know, an hour or so? So no, two hours. No, I only just got off the phone like five minutes ago. Let's see, half past it. Two and a half hours, right, I was on the phone. Right, around about two and a half hours. And then, uh, kind of just sitting on this, so... Yeah, um, this may be a long vlog, I don't know where we're at on that, or if it's even, like, real longer than the previous couple of days, but today's been a really good one, it's been up really early, I was doing stuff at a decent time, getting stuff done, went to go see that moped and whatnot, that was brilliant. So, as far as the plan with that shed goes, it's in the shed, it was going to have a film on NOS, on Nozzy motorbike, um, I think on NOS, I don't know how the hell I said it. Uh, basically, it's in there, but there's no plastic trim. It's the full bike, all the pieces just no plastic trim. And this shed's that's been in there for about eight years, and he wanted to get it back for eight years. He's just not had the opportunity. So I went there and I confirmed that the shed was still there. See, the shed in the back of the garden, that was a deal breaker. He reckons in eight years, nobody took out the shed, that it stayed there since eight years ago. And what we done was, was like, right, we're not going to meet the night because he had other stuff today. He thought he would be free, but it turned out that wasn't quite the case. So what I decided to do instead was, you know, uh, you know, go do and chat the landlords, do all within like the next week because he knows what door the landlord is. But, uh, alright, that's, uh, what do I worry about it? I look tired. Listen, the next update after this will probably be about 12, but, you know, Squirt. It's been a relatively long ish vlog, so what I'm going to go do now is go get a cup of tea because I feel like I'm due one right now. Yeah, a cup of tea would be a treat right now. Put your against tea against a slow cooker. That shouldn't be too much up. Oh my. Too bad. 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 
Okay. Okay, I'll need you more. Where's that gear? Man, that's a gym. Funnel, what is the funnel one? So push them, that's what we're up here. Put the gate on, put that under, and then we're gonna make it up there. Put this back and set. Controversial thing there. Why oh, I'm gonna put butter on the top of it and I call it disgusting. But it won't. Again, one of the more longer updates, but you know, I felt like since the last update was me flying in and saying, I felt like, hey, can I all this, didn't I? Perfect. Almost like a different knife uh, for the metallic they one can cross contaminate the two. With a bar, make the look like on camera, but I don't know if I'm just with a bar. There we go, I love it, it's 100%. Put it back and put the bar on the left hand. Put the bar on the left hand. I need to put this knife in the bottom. Again, people are going to say, oh, girl, that's disgusting. You know, actually, I get kind of nice. Oh, it's like, it's like, you know, I compare the taste to it. People are going to say, it's weird. It's like, you get that. I don't know if, any, if it's outside the UK or not, but yeah, this thing called Nelly's Cookies. That stuff is legitimately very nice. Very nice stuff. I just got told I've got 15% battery, so I'm going to hurry this clip up. Sandwich is complete.
Okay. Yeah, so I just took some of the tail. I don't know if I know how Yes, I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to back up a little bit so I'm going to get the sugar. So I've actually turned into a cooking show where you can't see my head. Why is that? Why is that funny? Why Pick up the camera and read a notification now that I'm trying to try to pull that down. I didn't see me go on, right? Yeah, from my finger like 10 times. Right, let's go back in the fridge and rest it. See you guys at the other car. So, time to talk. So the first one I've got the deal marks and trailer park boys the movie. So that's fun, it's just like um, 2 minutes past 12. So, welcome to September 7th. So that's cool. So this is pretty much the end clip, or the last pop of the water bottle end here in Edinburgh. Um, so, will I make one of these tomorrow? Eh, likely. It is likely that I'll make one tomorrow. There's obviously the slight chance that I won't, but at the same time I'll try and get one out. But you know, today was interesting, and I'm quite happy that you know, my last day here I got to have some fun. But you know what, I've been presented with some news that, that should be good for my finances. So I'm speaking to a friend and they're saying that basically because of certain circumstances within my life and what's happened, that going to college I could get paid stupid money just to go to college. Simply for that reason. So I'm definitely going to have to apply for that. Because that is... That's insanity. How much money they're talking here. That's just crazy though. So yeah, potential hundred. I've got the camera. Potential hundred. That could be getting just for showing up at college. And you've also got thirty-five quid a week. And that is amazing. Plus, I mean, it would eliminate you need to get a job a part-time job because apparently the most I could get, right? Or I was given my circumstances previously, but somehow we work now. I can get up to eight hundred quid. Think about it, part time you know, most I'm gonna get two hundred and fifty that went into my lot job room, that's most I'll get. I'm making what oh, more than three times that just to go to college. Yeah, that's perfect money. That is insane money to just go to college. So I'm gonna phone them up tomorrow or just speak to them when I'm in on Wednesday or no wait, like, today's Tuesday. It's quite dull about Tuesday. We all know so there we go, I didn't really think that one through me and my brain. But, uh, aye. Well, I'm tired. But, yeah, I think I'll see someone who's been 26 minutes into this movie. And an hour and 8 minutes left. I'll be back in one moment. It's kind of different from my other visits. I mean, also there's not been. I've been here as long. Well. I came here Friday. And I'm gonna leave. Well, technically today, since you know it's you know a couple 
like a few minutes past midnight. But yeah, um, so I, mean, I wasn't doing my frequent trips to certain stores. I mean, I haven't been up to Saints Place once normally. I've been there a couple of times in the last few days. But and there's a, I went to Asda once or twice, but I never really bought anything to be honest with you. It's been different in the financial sense. I mean, I have the same amount of money I came here with, which is weird. But I've not made any either. The items that I had that I was trying to sell, unfortunately, none of them sold. Surely I've still got the books. There, you can see here. All the books are there. still sitting in which is less than ideal. And that book part is still sitting in the back of the car. In fact, I don't even know if I mentioned but I tried taking it to a scrap it even there, like... No, because... Tell you, it's been a long time since I've actually tried to sell something at Scrap. The last time I tried to sell something at Scrap, it was about six years ago. And turns out they no longer accept interior pieces for cars. You know, supposedly when you go to a Scrap, I don't think you're really looking for your interior too much. I think most people will go to a Scrap, it's, you know, bumpers, doors, you know, all that kind of stuff. Engine pieces, you know, body work, wheels, all that kind of stuff. And so on. But, yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed my stay here entirely. The reason I'm doing the whole talk at the end is in case there is not one tomorrow. Um, but, you know, so, I obviously go back home tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm doing that exactly. That's yet to be determined. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to see how that one works out. Um... See, my dad could come pick me up at the bus station, but it means I'm going to have to do it like stupidly like, early, and I don't really want to. So, I mean, I made a suggestion that, and all this is going to cost me money as well, but I'm going to make the suggestion that I get the DLR once I get to Buchanan bus station in Glasgow, which to me makes some sense. But, yeah, I mean, I've had fun, I've done some stuff. Also, yeah, well, it was a bit weird, you know, me walking up to go check out the shed was there. It's there, I've already discussed the plan of that, but... Yeah, I always enjoy coming here and making the vlogs on here. Obviously, there's not been too much content while I've been here, but... Obviously, I made a vlog every single day, including the day I came. I mean, that's great, I've not missed any days. I even got that extra clip out, or more like, call that a film, see... In my mind when I was making that, I thought it would be a hell of a lot longer than 15 or so minutes. I actually thought it was longer. But those were all old clips from between 2017 and 2019 that I just found on my Google Drive. So, those were fun to put in a clip. Anyway, I will see you guys in the start of the next vlog. Hopefully, there's one, you know, tomorrow or... I say tomorrow because technically it would count as a different vlog, but... Basically, I hope there's a vlog next vlog I'm not doing waiting till Wednesday morning to come and do it but you know we'll soon see so thank you very much you guys I've got the hiccups now thank you very much for watching and see you guys in tomorrow's vlog peace out